So let's have uh, an example whereby we can calculate a particular solution, okay? So in example number two, let's solve x dy over dx, that is equal to y plus x squared into sine x plus cos x, and we have some values given, y equals zero when x is pi over two. We're gonna use these values to work out the integration constant c, okay? So, first of all, remember, let's investigate what type of differential equation we have. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is, let me take the y to the left-hand side, okay? So I have x dy over dx minus y, if I move the y from the right to the left, that is equal to x squared into sine x plus cos x, okay? And if I divide throughout by the coefficient of dy over dx, so in this case, if I divide by x, the coefficient of dy over dx, we're gonna have dy over dx minus y over x, that is equal to x squared divided by x. Okay, so that cancels 2x into sine x plus cos x. Okay, so let me rewrite this. So we have dy over dx minus y over x, that is equal to x, open a bracket, sine x plus cos x, okay? So if we go quickly to step number one, so remember step number one is to write our differential equation in standard form. So if we go back to the paper and pen, our equation is already in standard form as the coefficient of dy over dx is one, okay? So step one is complete, and I'm gonna name that standard form equation star. That take, this takes us to step number two. And if we go to the screenshot, step number two, remember, calculate the integrating factor. So back to the paper and pen. So integrating factor if. So remember the formula, if is e to the power integration of px with respect to x. And as always, px is the term in front of y in your standard form equation. So let me highlight that term. So in our case, it's minus one over x. So it's minus one over x. So that is px. So just be careful, you also need to consider the sign also. So the sign is minus one over x, okay? So be sure to include that minus. So let's calculate uh, if. So if is e to the power integration, px is minus one over x with respect to x. And if you integrate minus one over x, it's minus ln x. And as I said in the screenshot, if your um, power has an ln, go one stage further to simplify. And we need to use the result e to the ln a equals a. So if we go back to the paper and pen, I have e to the minus ln x. And remember, minus ln x is the same as, okay, uh, ln x to the minus one. So you can take that minus in front of your ln and rewrite it as ln x to the minus one. And if we therefore use this result, remember the result e to the ln a equals a, that implies that e to the ln x to the minus one is x to the minus one, and x to the minus one is the same as one over x, okay? So some people um, will, t will make a mistake at this stage in particular and say to themselves that e to the minus ln x is minus x, 
that is incorrect. Remember, minus ln x is the same as ln x to the minus 1, which is the same as x to the minus 1, which is 1 over x. Okay? So, that takes us to step number 3. So, if we go back to the screenshot, remember step number 3. Multiply the equation in standard form, i.e. star, by the integrating factor. So, back to the paper and pen. Here is my standard form equation star. So let me multiply throughout by the integrating factor, which is 1 over x. So if I multiply star by if, we're going to have 1 over x times dy over dx, which is 1 over x dy by dx, minus... Uh, y over x times 1 over x is y over x squared. And that is equal to x into sine x plus cos x times 1 over x. And that is sine x plus cos x. Okay, so x into 1 over x will, will cancel, giving us 1 into sine x plus cos x, which is sine x plus cos x. Okay. So that takes us to step number four. So let's go to the screenshot quickly. Remember step number four, the left hand side of your equation. So the left hand side of step number three is, is always rewritten as d by dx of ify. So if we go back to the paper and pen, the entire left hand side of the step three equation, we're going to rewrite that as d by dx of if into y okay so let's use that approach so we're going to have d by dx of if is 1 over x into y and that is equal to the term on the right which is sine x plus cos x okay so if we go back to the screenshot Step number five is to integrate both sides. And remember, on the left-hand term, whenever you integrate d by dx of a term with respect to x, you're going to get ify as a result. Okay? So bearing that in mind, let's go back to the paper and pen. So in step number five, if we integrate both sides... So in this case, when we integrate d by dx of 1 over xy with respect to x, we're just simply going to get 1 over x times y, okay? And that is equal to the integration of sine x plus cos x, okay? So we're going to have y over x when we simplify and when you integrate sine, it's minus cos x. When you integrate cos x, it's plus sine x. So these two are standard integrals. Let me add the c on the right hand side. Okay. Now remember, so far we have the general solution. So this is the general solution to the first order linear differential equation but we're not finished in this example we've got values for y and x so remember y is zero when x is pi over two we can use these values to work out the integration constant c okay so let's use these values so remember when y is zero x is pi over two so let's replace the x and the y value in the general solution. So we're going to have y, which is 0, divided by x, which is pi over 2. That is equal to minus cos x, which is pi over 2, plus sine x, which is pi over 2, plus c. Okay, 
if we go one stage further, okay, so zero over pi over two, so that is of course zero, that is equal to, cos pi over two is a standard result, so cos pi over two or cos 90 is zero, plus sine pi over two again is a standard result, so sine pi over two or sine 90 is one, plus the C, so if you rearrange this, c is minus one. Okay, so that is the value of your integration constant. So if I replace c by minus one in our general solution, we're gonna get the particular solution. So therefore, the particular solution to our first order linear differential equation will be, so it's gonna be y over x, that is equal to minus cos x plus sine x. So minus cos x plus sine x plus c and c is minus one. Okay, so that is the particular solution to our first order linear differential equation in example two, okay? So there are the steps involved with uh, example two, okay? That also ends the video, sadly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. Um, do plenty of practice questions, and I hope to see you again. Thank you.